And now, to welcome the class of 2020 to their commencement, our opening speaker tonight is the president of the class of 2020, Carlos Bariga. Hello to the students and families joining us today to celebrate the iron will and unmatched perseverance of those who stared uncertainty and doubt in the eyes and simply continued to push forward. These individuals I speak about are none other than those who sit before me today, the class of 2020. A class that undeniably has faced darkness and tragedy only to overcome that adversity and come out on the other side as stronger and more mature members of society. The things that we have endured only make our voyage through the vast and furious waters that have been the past four years of our lives some of the most influential. Along with the few hidden gems from our teachers, we have learned a lot from our experiences. Speaking for myself, this journey has at times felt as if I was trudging against the current that the strife and emotion was all too much and that I'd be swept away in a sea of nameless faces. It became an easy thought to fall on when everything around you appears foreign and the strangers that brush past you don't look like what you see in the mirror. I was lost in a place I worked so hard to get to, a kid with no name for himself in a school that was riddled with only the greatest names on its walls. I struggled to find my place as the tide constantly pulled me back and forth. I knew I had to make a choice, a choice a lot of us are faced with at one point in our lives. To give in to the tide and float through the memories of what could have been, or to do absolutely everything I could. To give Chicopee High School my all, to leave everything out on the field and make something of myself while I still could. Standing up here today, guess which one I chose. All jokes aside, making a name for myself became apparent as I found myself doing things I only ever dreamed about, and making friends of the faces I once feared. I began to hear the different things people labeled me as, nicknames that represented different aspects of who I was or what I did. These labels painted me in different strokes, some broader than others when the occasional stereotype or microaggression was thrown my way, especially when a Mexican kid decides to run for president. The irony isn't lost on me. <sighs> At times it seems as if I could sail no further, that the names I had longed for and fought for were temporary and that I was still that lost kid. It isn't common to be taught to fail in life, and so when it occurs, failure becomes harder to bear, and I am no stranger to failing, not literally at least, looking at you Mrs. Romancef. But even in failure, I realized that there was so much more to learn, as all of you will without a doubt experience. We all fail, whether it's a class, or trying to patch a broken relationship, or maybe even you burned the chicken while cooking and now you have no dinner. It is, our human, is, it is in our human nature to fail, it's what you do within that failure that begins to define you, to earn the name of a fighter, a leader, someone who under any circumstance comes through. I am happy to tell you that in at least one way or another, we have all already succeeded through hardship. When the going got rough and we were told we, were not, we could not participate in the last months of our 12 years of schooling, that the boat we had began our voyage on was sinking, we rose to the occasion and swam the last mile to shore, demonstrating the power and determination that the class of 2020 holds. I know that this still leaves a level of uncertainty with you all, clueless as to what, ne what your next steps are to be. It is difficult, and we have it more difficult than anybody before us. But within the time I've spent with every single one of you, in the hallways, in the classrooms, in the stands, or even on the field, despite any preconceived notion, all of you are destined for greatness. Enjoy the journey through the wicked sea. If you ever get lost, look to the past as your north star. Let the names be a part of who you are for the rest of your lives, because for the rest of my life I will always be a pacer. Therefore, I know I'm never alone, even in times of isolation. I searched my entire life to find meaning in something, and when it came time to take control of my life, I searched for names that I could look back on and own. It's only standing up here now that I realized that there was no need for searching, for I've done many names in my life. I am Carlos, number nine, center snare, QB1, captain, Car, Patricio, Carlos, Mijo, Hermano, Friend, Peach Nut, Track God, Ace, Bariga. These represent my being, who I've evolved to be, like stripes earned, tasks passed, medals to a soldier. But however many, time, however many names I wear in this life, nothing will ever even come close to being able to call myself your president. We've embarked on this story together, and part of the journey is the end. To all my friends sitting here and all the staff at Chicopee High School, I wish you luck on all your endeavors you might choose to undertake and to remember this. The most important thing in life will always be the people here today. Mi familia. Thank you. Our next speaker is a lifelong resident of the 